My name is Georgie Shields and I'm the director of Everard Reed Gallery in London. We trace our heritage back to 1913 in Johannesburg, so that makes us one of the oldest commercial galleries, not just on the African continent, but anywhere. Today we have galleries in Cape Town, Johannesburg, Franschhoek in South Africa's wine country, and of course in London. Like many art galleries, we are very much a family-run business, and today the children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren of Everard Reed still play an integral part in the day-to-day -day running of the business. So certainly for me, it feels very precious to be in a position to protect and continue the legacy of my grandfather. We specialize in modern and contemporary South African art, and for Masterpiece Online, we will be showcasing the work of several eminent South African artists. At the heart of our Masterpiece presentation are Deborah Bell's monumental new sculptures, a series of eight bronze sentinels. These towering figures are about two and a half meters high, and they feel very much of the earth. The figures literally appear to be growing out of rock. Deborah's sentinels were conceived as guardians, as gatekeepers for humanity, and they inhabit a place of stillness and reflection, which seems especially pertinent right now. We're also presenting work by Nigel Mullins. These paintings are from a body of work that Nigel made last year called Mass Gatherings. And as you can see, they are very painterly works using thick impasto. There is a swooping aerial view of Trafalgar Square during the Trump protests and a very colourful, jostling gathering of people at the Place de la République in Paris to protest the Charlie Hebdo tragedy. These paintings are particularly poignant right now at a time when gatherings of people in many countries around the world are prohibited. Angus Taylor is one of South Africa's leading sculptors, and we're showing a signature piece of his, a meditative bronze bust that's elegantly supporting layers of finely polished stone which seem to echo the layers of ancient rock found in the Earth's crust. There's a strength and serenity emanating from this piece, which feels comforting at a time like now, when we're all navigating a changed world without reliable maps, and we're living with a profound sense of uncertainty. We're also showing painting and sculpture by celebrated South African artist Lionel Smith, who explores themes of identity through large-scale portraiture. The human face offers an endless source of study and Lionel's work accentuates facial characteristics through bold swathes of color and brush techniques, as well as his highly textured bronzes and vivid patination. We have a large scale diptych by Blessing and Gabeni in our masterpiece presentation. Blessing lives and works in Johannesburg and is this year's recipient of South Africa's most prestigious award for young artists. Blessing uses found materials and media-based imagery to create these very layered, powerful works that seek to expose the social injustices of post-apartheid South Africa and to reveal the underbelly of contemporary South African life with its stark reality of inequality.